Tesla finally did it. After years of being the punchline for panel gabs and frustrating glitches, they just cracked the top 10 in a major US reliability ranking. But that victory lap lasted about five minutes before the company made a move that changes everything about how you drive their cars, signaling a massive high stakes bet on the future of autonomy. For a long time, the biggest hurdle for Tesla wasn't the technology, but the simple physical act of building a car. The narrative was always about revolutionary speed paired with inconsistent quality. That story officially changed when reports suggested Tesla climbed eight spots to land at number nine in the Consumer Reports reliability rankings. This is a huge, undeniable win. It's proof that Tesla's massive investment in manufacturing maturity is paying off, and it solidifies the electric drive system itself as a rock-solid piece of engineering. It's the moment Tesla finally proved it can build a dependable car. But the road to perfection is never smooth. Just as the champagne corks were popping, Tesla hit the brakes on deliveries of the Model Y performance right here in the US. Picture a brand new Model Y sitting on the lot, ready for the customer, and suddenly the order freezes. According to available information, this pause was put in place for additional safety checks, a move to ensure the vehicle meets Tesla's own internal quality standards. It's a stark reminder that even as Tesla chases the future, the fundamentals of building a high-volume, high-performance vehicle are still a constant daily challenge. Now let's talk about the software, because this is where the real story is unfolding. Tesla is executing a bold and many would say aggressive strategy with its driver assistance features. If you buy a new or even a used Tesla today, you might find that the basic autopilot system is quietly being removed. This leaves the car with only the simple traffic-aware cruise control as a standard feature. This doesn't seem random. Many observers see this as a strategic move to push buyers toward the premium full self-driving package. Critics argue that by removing the basic autopilot, Tesla is essentially forcing customers to pay the steep price for FSD if they want any meaningful highway assistance beyond basic speed matching. This move is a clear signal that Tesla is done with incremental steps. They are putting all their chips on the ultimate goal of full autonomy, and they want you to pay for the ticket. It's a massive gamble, transforming the car software from a convenience feature to a must-have upgrade. To keep the sales momentum going while they execute this high-stakes FSD strategy, Tesla is also leaning on a classic sales tactic, aggressive financing. We're seeing new promotions offering 0% APR financing on the Model Y standard. This blend of cutting-edge and controversial software strategy and traditional aggressive sales incentives highlights the dual reality of the modern auto market. Tesla is in a race for future dominance, but they still need to move metal today. So what does this mean for the Tesla owner? Tesla is betting that the FSD software is mature enough to stand on its own and that the value proposition of full autonomy will outweigh the loss of the basic autopilot features. The next few years will be defined by this intense, winner-take-all fight for autonomy. Will this strategy succeed in funding the next generation of AI development? The future of Tesla is no longer about the car itself, but the software that drives it. And the road ahead is about to get wild. If you want to stay on top of these massive shifts in the automotive world, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow us for all the latest updates. We'll keep you informed as the future of driving unfolds.